I, I noticed it myself, like here in Thailand, they go up to like 3,500 nanograms per deciliter. So anything over 500 milligrams of test per week, they don't detect. Because I was on two and a half grams of steroids, and then I wanted to go do blood work. I'm like, why is it so low? And then I called them. So why is it why is it so low? I take like enough testosterone for a whole football team. It should be way higher. And yeah. they're like, well, this is the highest we can detect. And you see that in many um, uh, you know blood work uh, clinics where they just detect as as high as a certain amount, and anything over that, it's just that the machine just kind of fails and implodes on itself. So testosterone, 6,060 nanograms per deciliter. And I think it's way higher, but I think this is like the cutoff. A cutoff? I don't know. I Maybe. Yeah, like, 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 like some ranges only go to 3,527 and some go to like 6,000. Huh. So may, maybe give them a call and ask them, so is this the highest you can detect or is it really 6,057 uh, 6, nanograms per deciliter? Makes sense though with your with your free testosterone based on your SHBG levels. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, so. look at that SHBG six point two. How's your libido? It, you know, it's been normal. Like i i still <laughs> I still want to do it more than my wife does. That's for sure. <laughs> mm. But I mean, she's, yeah, now you gotta she's, be extra careful. Well, she's yeah, she's. Yeah, she's she's worried about how she's uh, changing and stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. it's, oh yeah, well, she gets it's self -conscious, a whole conscious. Uh, yeah, it's a hell, whole mind fuck for her. She's like, I don't don't touch me. I don't want to be touched. And it's like, yeah, well. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> well, I don't oh, know. She's. Man. I like, think. We... I think. I think she's kind of turning turning the corner a little bit on it. Because um, okay. the first yeah the first trimester it's... was rough. Yeah. Yeah, the first trimester. Yeah, they have it so much harder than we do. Yeah, it was rough mentally, but um, mm. I feel like she's coming around and getting getting more comfortable with all of it. So, yeah, I'm sure. Well, she got a couple months left, and then uh, then it's like a transformation time for her as well. My wife has already got a transformation plan by the time she gives birth. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to do this and this. She's got her diet ready. I said, you're not even pregnant yet. What are you talking about? So I just want to be ready. <laughs> yeah. She used to compete, right? So she's, she's, she, she loves that stuff. So That's good. Uh, she's got everything ready already. Yeah, thank God. Yeah. All right, Esther Dial is like double last time, right? Last time was, what, 65? And now it's 132 pocket grams mm -hmm. per milliliter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was, uh, it was, six, yeah, it was 65 when I was on 2,000 tests. And 800 master, mm -hmm. and now it's 132 yeah. on 3500 test and 1400 master. So, all right. So you might nice. want to go to that one to one ratio: two <laughs> two grams of test, two grams of master. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What I what I what I do think is because your ultra sensitive estradiol is 132 and your regular estradiol is 132, it might be also at the top of the detectable range. Because both numbers are detectable, and usually sensitive estradiol is a little bit lower. Well, there you go. Okay, yeah. Because when I saw that, I was yeah. like, "Well, are they supposed to be the same?" <laughs> I was like, no. "That doesn't seem usually right. one is usually yeah usually ultra sensitive estradiol is a little bit lower, and sometimes you see it a little bit higher. Interesting. Um, but estradiol, yeah, re regular estradiol usually cross the text with a little bit of uh, estriol and esterone. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it might be so you, you might want to give this lab a call said I know my lumbers look high but um, I'm a professional bodybuilder and I would like to know if these are the top of the you know and they're like what yeah, are you no, doing to your body bro what are you doing <laughs> yeah that's uh, I did not think about that that's a good point yeah yeah okay now I've seen it so many times and I, I, I noticed it myself like here in Thailand they go up to like 3,500 nanograms per deciliter so anything over 500 milligrams of test per week they don't detect because i was on two and a half grams of steroids and then i wanted to go do blood work i'm like why is it so low and then i called them so why is it why is it so low i take like enough testosterone for a whole football team it should be way higher and yeah. they're like well this is the highest we can detect and you see that in many um uh you know blood work uh, clinics where they just detect as, as high as a certain amount and anything over that is that the machine just kind of fails and implodes on itself. <laughs> <laughs> so 
Okay. <laughs> like, yeah, you know, even the okay. even the machine gets depressed and how jealous I see. they are. So, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. So you you might want to retest it. So are you got are you going to go to the Mastron more Mastron route or are you going to throw in an aromatized inhibitor like aromasin or or something like that? You know, I I don't know. I know I don't because I don't mm. really want to inject more. You know, because I feel like that's yeah. That's the thing is like, do you, do you want to, do you want to go over three cc's a day <laughs> or yeah, or, that's right. Huh? So yeah, I don't, I, I'm still thinking, thinking about that. I'm not sure which way to go with it. Mm. Um, you got a master on inentate, 200 milligrams for one milliliter. You can even do 250, right? Um, I mean, yeah, the, the higher you go, the more pip it's going to have, but mm. Um, I mean, 200. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, what, what do you, what do you think as far as like, would throwing in aromasin like half a, I would, I would throw in like, yeah, like 25 milligrams of aromasin three times a week. Of course, a lot of people are shitting on aromatized inhibitors, but you know, the same, the same reasons why aromatized inhibitors would potentially be bad is the same why mastrone would potentially be bad because it's all inhibiting the aromatized enzymes. And when you look yeah. at the list of what aro- uh, inhibits the aromatized enzymes, it's like the longest lift list ever. I made a, a video about steroidogenesis inhibitors. Yeah. You see that the, the list of potential aromatized inhibitors is so long. <laughs> and then even things that are found in food sources are inhibiting the aromatized enzymes. Zinc, vitamin B6, all these simple yeah. things that you take in a supplemental form is inhibiting that and and none of this are those are associated with all these terrible uh, side effects that people attribute to aromatized inhibitors which hmm. in many cases just extrapolated from the evidence on uh, postmenopausal women suffering from breast cancer and then they crush their estradiol right they're already postmenopausal they already have low estradiol levels and they bring it down to zero like ah, you see aromatized inhibitors are the devil no it's low estradiol dude relax yeah <laughs> relax yeah I, yeah I would i mean the psych this cosmetically it's clearly working i, I would do like 25 milligrams of romacin three times a week and see what happens after a month sure okay just yeah, to kill I'll, I'll, kill the aromatized enzymes yeah i see yeah mm. I'd, I'd i just yeah uh, my initial thought is yeah increase mastron but yeah i don't i don't really want to be injecting more than uh, three cc's a day <laughs> it's just not fun but what, what about <laughs> reducing your test a little bit oh yeah so like i could bring it bring it down to to change the ratio i mean that's a good point too you know um uh-huh. yeah yeah that's a good point could could do that that that's yeah. another option two two thousand five hundred tests two thousand uh master on anthate could be that could anyway, be, or you yeah. keep it like this. I mean, yeah, you, or you keep it like this and you throw in a little bit of aromacin. It's easy, you know, three three tablets a week and then see what happens. Yeah. We'll test it out. We'll see. We'll take a look at it. Yeah. Cool. 